for it, really. Stated in the biography, The Man Who Owns the News, author Michael Wolfs says that in 1984, Rupert Murdoch purchased part of 20th Century Fox for $250 million and then purchased the rest of it later for $325, <coughs> well, $325 million. Now at the end of 2017, Disney announced the acquisition of Fox for over $52.4 billion. My claim here today is that Disney's purchase of Fox is going to ultimately harm the film industry. So I have two um, secondary claims. My first one is that Disney will have a monopolistic control over the entertainment industry. And second, specific kinds of projects created right now under Fox will no longer be created under the Disney brand. So first of all, Disney will have a monopolistic control over the film industry. The, is, the merge is a horizontal merge, which is between companies that have, between companies that, have uh, the, that produce the same goods. Um, this will consolidate various franchi Fox franchises like Alien, Avatar, Deadpool, and Marvel underneath the Disney brand. Um, the merge stated by Vox News is that it will give a majority 60% stake to Hulu, allowing it to run it as it sees, as it sees fit. And Richard Greenfield, a BTIG research analyst, states that Disney will have a 39% ownership of the market, way over the other five um, major studios. The negative on all this is that it reduces competition. Um, the declining market share will, uh, will have studios scrambling to keep up with, the, uh, keep up with Disney. And industry, professional, uh, industry professionals will have a smaller choice in where to pitch their projects to. Um, even last year, Disney only had eight films that they released to the box office. And this will hurt the industry professionals in having a backing that they desire to produce their projects. Um, so, and the FTC themselves state that the greatest that the greatest antitrust concerns arise with proposed mergers between direct competitors. Um, and then the second secondary claim is that specific kinds of projects produced by Fox will not be welcome with Disney's control. Um, first of all, new entertainment projects will have to fit into the Disney family friendly mode. Um, a writer for the LA Times states that Disney has embraced family friendly temples with its acquisition of Pixar in 2006. The blockbuster that the studio releases under the Marvel Entertainment and Lucasfilm don't go beyond a PG-13 rating. That? that would mean that Fox would probably not produce any more rated R films, such as Deadpool or Alien Covenant. The second thing is that personnel or industry professionals would lose creative control over their material. Um, I like the article by the Daily Beast that I'll summarize here. Um, Fox right now is doing creative things with the X-Men franchise, such as making R-rated films like Deadpool or splitting genres like Logan. Its separation from the Marvel Cinematic Universe is what allows for that freedom. Freedom from having the same tone and visual aesthetic. Um, on the flip side, Fox Searchlight is an indie film division um, that focuses on creative projects and has 20 nominations in this year's Oscars. Um, one of the films that has the most, which would be The Shape of Water, one of the producers, um, which is J. Miles Dale, states that Fox Searchlight is making the kinds of movies that we need to make, that we want to make, and that people need to see. Um, and then third, projects that are risky for business or experimental might not be taken on by the studio. Um, Marvel Studios, for instance, um, that's owned by Disney, um, plans the projects years in advance, meticulously. Um, so there's no room for error or for um, experimentation. Um, I like the way that Tom Rothman sums it up the best. And he's the Sony Pictures Motion Picture Group chairman. He states that um, consolidation under giant corporate mandates rarely promotes creative risk taking. Um, the Fox Disney transaction is about content aggregation as the market moves towards streaming. Um, content is what's going to determine whether uh, one subscribes to one service or another. And the more content a service has, it plays a key factor in that. Um, although this is great for Disney, it's going to result in negative competition and the creative control by uh, project creators. Thank you.